one place in the Bible, it says, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned as it were with salt, so that you may know how you should respond to each person. That's the challenge. The problem is not knowing what God says said in the Bible. That's not the problem. The problem is engaging other people in a way that builds bridges with them. Another thing, Jesus says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus actually hung out with them. And Jesus never, ever endorsed swindling and prostitution. But the swindlers and the prostitutes loved him because why? They could see that he loved them. Whereas, now he was very harsh with the religious leaders. And so sometimes people will say, okay, now there's room for me to be harsh with, say, the hypocrites. And I, I could be wrong here, but I, I find that any time in my life, and I have been harsh with religious leaders, any time that I have done that, I did not feel good about what I did. And often I've had to go back and apologize, even if I was right and they were dead wrong. It was, I, I did it in totally a non-gracious way. So keep in mind, Jesus is God. So when you have God walking into the temple and calling the Pharisees vipers and whited tombs and so forth, okay, he's God. He's speaking from an entirely different way than exactly. I am. But I find it very difficult. It's almost like the final frontier. If you know the truth, first of all, do you really know the truth? You always have to be cautious on that. Never claim infallibility. And this is where accountability comes into play. Secondly, uh, the other thing we do is there's, say, moral, moral principles in, in, that God has given us. I will discuss those moral principles with people who identify as Christians because they have a much higher standard and they have supposedly, if they are actually authentic Christians, they have the power of God working in their life to, so that God can change their life. But if it's a person who's not yet put their faith in Christ, I have more important things to talk about with that person. But it's far more important with a person who does not follow God, does not follow Christ, maybe doesn't even believe in the existence of God, to not argue about moral things, some exceptions being made, of course, but to not argue about that, but first and foremost to talk about God and why it might be a good idea to put our faith in Christ and maybe talk about Christ and why maybe he is who he claimed he is. That is, I am the name for God himself. That's my, I have two different ways of focusing with people who disagree with me. First of all, I determine, are they claiming to be a follower of Christ? In that case, I will hopefully with grace talk about the issue. If they're not a follower of Christ, then I will hopefully with grace talk about the more important fundamental issues about their relationship with God.